All right, what the heck is pooping gamers? We are uh, d doing a, d we're doing duel today. Okay, and today uh, we are the Baltimore Blissies. Beautiful, wonderful. Uh, just so you guys all remember my team, this is it. Uh, and I built a team to play this guy that I'm playing, but I haven't looked at it in a couple of days. So uh, hopefully it's a pretty good team, but this is the team that we were playing. Uh, it's really interesting because he's got like sort of this whole double screen setter, but I, the one thing that he has like really to take a uh, big advantage of the screens super offensively, I would say is like Garchomp, but he also has this like Vanillix Arctivish thing that can be going on. So if you get Arctivish behind some screens, that can definitely be uh, pretty scary. Uh, perhaps some, some Sceptile stuff as well. Uh, but basically... Uh, I'm going to try to figure out why I built what I built, <laughs> and hopefully this is uh, good. So here we have uh, the team. Uh, Melmetal is going to be physically defensive. It looks like it can toxic stall things. Uh, double Iron Bash, basically always good. But with Wish support from uh, Aromatis, that is going to... And we have Spadef. All right, we're, we're Spadef to check. Vanellix, uh, and perhaps like if it's nasty bad or something we can do with that uh, do I have body press yeah I got body press on here because Magnazone can trap us oh we're spadef because Magnazone can trap us that's why okay very cool cool <laughs> cool cool building very good job uh, uh, this wheezing all right this all right this is what I remember uh, what I'm gonna do against this team is I'm going to get the toxic spikes down because his only, uh, he, he doesn't have a grounded poison. And his removal is Crobat or Hitmontop. And Crobat, if it's Defog, I can pressure pretty well. Uh, like, I think Landorus and, and all can and put a decent amount of pressure on. Uh, Starmie can definitely force out if he's trying to trying to defog and stuff. So if I can get these toxic spikes down, uh, that's really good. Oh, I can also just T-bolt with. Ooh, look at me, man! We're running T-bolt tech on wheezing for uh for this. Beautiful. Okay, what am I? I'm clicking all around my computer trying to figure out because <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to get this game started with this guy as well. But I'm trying to look over my team before uh, before I play, and I'm trying to let you guys in on that process of how I look at my team and how I looked at what I prepped a week ago. Uh, let's see if that's good. Oh, by the way, let me turn this light on. Uh, I don't really know if that's doing anything. Anyway, it was beautiful today. I went on a run, and I haven't been, like, out on a run in forever because it's been so cold, but it was just, like, randomly 80 today. 80 and very windy, but, like, it felt comfortable because I just love the heat. I can't stand winter. I can't stand the cold. It's awful. Uh, so, yeah, basically, uh, I also I hate this set. I really i am not a big fan of Clangorous Soul. Uh, Como, but I will. I think it's got a pretty good matchup, so I will run it in this week uh, because I think it's got a pretty good matchup. And I think that's a, I think that's about it. I think it's going to be a pretty straightforward team. The, the goal is to definitely get toxic spikes down, uh, keep anything from pressuring the team too much, and uh, kind of just stall out turns. Uh, yeah, I'll be back when the match starts. Okay, but Okay, we are back. <clears throat> and last second change. I took a quick look at his team. Okay, this is pretty similar to what I thought he was going to bring. Uh, I did quickly last second change Scald to recover on Starmie because I was like, when am I going to be clicking Scald against this guy's team? Like, this is his team. Uh, there's not anything that I particularly want to Scald. Bolt Beam does uh, so well. So like against the uh against the oh is this aspect ratio good okay yeah uh, yeah 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 that looks pretty good uh against a lot of things i'm gonna ice beam against a lot of things i'm gonna thunderbolt uh there's only like two things that i, I would really need scald for but i think recover could definitely come in handy versus like the slow bro and stuff especially with natural cure uh Unless he's like Zap Cannon or something. I don't, know. I don't really know. But okay. Let's take a look at what's going on here. And uh, 
<clears throat> yeah, I think just want to stick to the game plan. Everything is going to get poisoned. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to lead Weezing and throw up Toxic Spikes. Uh, so something that I really wanted to talk about today with you people is the importance of investing in your future. Okay, this is this is a Pokemon channel, but we also talk about life. You know, we talk about what's going on in your life. I want to, I, trust me, I want I want to know what's going on in your guys' lives. So if you want to talk about it, drop it in the comments. We we can chat. But anyway, big thing. People don't realize how powerful compound interest is. All right. All right. So we see a Vanillix lead, and that kind of throws a. Uh, in our little thing uh, let me do this oh, I'm like no spadef wheezing yeah I could just die to that okay I'm just gonna go hard uh, what's it called because oh and he actually goes for that which is pretty good okay so we see taunt vanillax yeah anyway compound interest is huge it is massive gang like at first it starts off small because you're you're earning interest on your interest but like if you've ever looked at an exponential gain graph it's like it's like skyrockets so if you really want those benefits it's more powerful in the later years so if you start investing at 20 then you get the most benefits when you're like 60 right but if you start when you're 40 then you don't get to see that like really uptick towards the end of the graph uh until later so what i think he's gonna do is go slow bro I really don't see any reason not to go slow, bro. Because of that, I kind of want to uh, make an aggressive play and go Starmie. It's not that aggressive, but I kind of was thinking if I wanted to go Weezing, uh, but if he goes slow, bro, that's a, it's not a very good play. So I have Starmie out here. This is a pretty free Thunderbolt and oh, I'm sorry, dude. That actually sucks. So we actually, uh, we see that that crit and that kind of sucks there so freeze dry is going to come out freeze dry i think does i, I was talking this last week actually, i actually remember i think it does uh, a decent amount to the star me uh but i think my safest play is to just go uh trying to s decide how much i want this uh star me later in the game because if i can get Mel Metal out on a freeze dry, then I'm looking really good here. Uh, although if I if I just take some damage on this, that would also be really huge. So decisions, decisions. I'm trying to think about end game state, you know? I'm trying to invest in my future in in the market, and I'm also trying to invest in my future in Pokemon. So uh, he's not gonna be setting up any or he could set up hazards with uh or chomp if he fishes wrens I, I mean i should really just look at the calc you know if if you're if you're questioning how much damage something's gonna do this is not my set uh, but this will give me an idea of a max amount of damage that it will do okay i'm just gonna stay out in thunderbolt so we do see a fishes wren so that that is what i was afraid of i was like if i switch to mel metal and he fishes wrens then that could actually put me in a really bad spot because if fishes wrens gonna two hit ko mel metal then uh stinky doo doo right so if i if i sack star me to a fishes rend or because yeah, i would live a fishes rend or i would live a uh scald freeze dry <laughs> right then i can uh get a bunch of damage on this and i can get my mel metal out for free okay so we are going to Toxic this uh, Toxic Garchomp because that was a pretty obvious play. And he actually is Lumberry, very cool. Uh, that is fine though. Uh, this Aromatisse is going to be best suited against this Garchomp. And uh, my Sweezing can't actually touch Garchomp very well unless it uh, is poisoned. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Aromatisse even if he SDs there. And actually if he is, uh, oh, he's not Life Orb. So this should be fine. Yeah, I was going to say if he's Life Herb, he actually has a chance to kill me here. But he's not, so he doesn't. Uh, and the bad thing is is that uh, he is going to be faster than everything, but 
Landor should be able to take a hit uh, fine. And yeah, unfortunately, like with an offensive team like this, it's a trade oriented game. So I got to give and take. Uh, so how much do I need this Romatisse later? Probably not as much as I need Melmetal. <clears throat> Probably not as much as I need uh, other things. <sighs> so I could go Weezing here. But if he like, if he attacks into Weezing, like I really want to get my Toxic Spikes up. Like Romatisse is only good against uh, this Grim Snarl. I don't know if this is going to be screen Grim Snarl or what. Maybe overvaluing my Weezing. But this Weezing is going to be good against Crobat as well. I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to go for it. Yeah, and he does go for Stone Edge. Uh, potentially predicting my wheezing to come out uh and what i want to do is what i really want to do is get my rocks down but he is not life orb chomp so that's not going to be free rocks so what i will do instead is go to my wheezing and just click uh against a guard champ. I don't know if this is even on the screen, but I'm calking uh, non my wheezing versus a, uh, well, this isn't even my wheezing. My wheezing is more physically defensive. I'm just trying to couch my uh, wheezing versus a plus two guard champ that's not life orb. And that does like less than half. So I'm actually gonna come out here and just go wheezing and sludge bomb. And uh, I could go Landorus, and that is potentially a better play, but I, I think I'm going to value the health on the Landorus uh, a little more than the health on the Weezing. It's kind of difficult to say, though, because what's going to happen is uh, he could Stone Edge here, or, I mean, if, if he goes out, if he switches out to Crobat or something, that's actually really good for me, because uh, my Weezing is pretty strong against most crab crobats if it's nasty bat that could be annoying uh honestly if it's nasty bat if he's good with hurricane hits and stuff and dodges a stone edge from landorus he could uh just sweep me here but he would need some luck and uh that would be probably pretty unlikely uh for, for newer players watching nasty bat is nasty plot crobat it's the plus two special attacking. You don't really think about uh, Crobat as a special attacker, but once you get like plus two special attack uh, and you're hitting hurricanes and sludge bombs, uh, it does it a decent amount of damage. And Landorus would be able to uh, would be able to take that. But if he hits Hurricane and I miss Stone Edges, which is I know. Let's, let's be honest. Hurricane's got 70 accuracy. Stone Edge has got 80 accuracy. But we know. We know for a fact that Hurricane is more accurate than Stone Edge. Use 100 Hurricanes and 100 Stone Edges, and I can bet that you're going to hit like... Oh, dang. He only got two hits, too, dude. I'm sorry. I, I, I've had pretty decent, pretty decent luck this match, I think. Uh, yeah, let's be honest you are going to be hitting more hurricanes out of 100 than you're going to be hitting stone edges. You're going to hit like 50% of your stone edges, and you'll probably hit 70% of your hurricanes. That is uh, my prediction. And so we see Crobat come out here. It kind of makes me think that it is like a nasty one. But, oh no, so we do see it's uh, physical attacking, which is really good because that means I do well against it. I can paint split this if he has defog uh, doesn't really bother me so I paint split this and then I actually have thunderbolt to beat it and that uh, T spike down means that Arctivish is always going to die to uh, one layer of or sorry not one layer uh, this Arctivish is going to get beaten because oh no, not anymore not anymore this man's got a lot of uh, taunt on his team doesn't he Ooh, okay, I mean, I can I can lose to a freeze very easily. And I just spoke that into existence as well. <laughs> uh, this 
Como does an unfortunately small amount of work right now. <laughs> but it outspeeds this uh, Vanellix, which is really good. If he blizzards here, I probably die. What's the least useful? So let's say I'm a Como, right? And I am a Clangor Soul Como versus a Vanillux. Can I potentially live a Blizzard after I get to plus one? If I do plus one, Blizzard will do. Uh, how much does Clangor Soul do? That does like 33%. Uh, I don't feel like thinking about it. It probably, it's like, a, I think it's a really Como. I could also just go straight for Aura Sphere, just get that damage on it, and then, yeah, I'm just gonna stay up and attack. So we see the Aurora Veil come out, and this forces, uh, I mean, I'll Toxic Spike here, even if he taunts me. Okay, so we actually see Grimstone come out, which is really good because that means those Toxic Spikes are here to stay now, and, uh, there isn't really much that Grimmsnarl can do. Uh, I suppose a bulk upset would be kind of annoying. Nasty plot Grimmsnarl. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> that is incredible. That is so amazing. I'm so happy you just clicked nasty plot. Okay. <laughs> now that I have... <laughs> <laughs> I really hope I lose to this, honestly. Oh, that is beautiful. Uh, I, I got really lucky in getting that poison. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to do here. Uh, I If he's rest or something, that could be really annoying. But he's not going to... Is he going to be rest? I think what I just do is uh, put up my rocks so that Arctivish can't have a single attack. And then I think uh, Melmetal can just uh, handle the rest of this. So the thing, if, if he's like rest nasty plot or something, dude, I am just, I want to lose. Like, I I think that is such a, a win deserving set. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so Melmetal has, I, I, yeah, I think it's just the safe play to click Stealth Rock. Because I don't even think anything that this does can kill me. I, I've seen a lot of things in my day, but I haven't seen a nasty plot Grimms now. I kind of want to pull up the data for this. What, how do you even spell oh, Good, he didn't name the Grim Snarl, so I can actually spell it correctly. Uh, 95 special attack is not that low, if you think about it. Uh, I would have expected, I was thinking more of a bulk upset. Because if he's got the Aurora Veil of Vanillux, uh, then yeah. Uh, let's see, is he going to be, what's it called? Okay, I, I didn't know if he was going to be Sucker Punch plus Nasty Plot. Bro, that is... Beissimo, Beissimo. Uh, what I can do is now that I have rocks and stuff down here, is I can go for differential. So now we see that come out and we have protect and uh, I think rocks are going to take care of that. Yeah. So we get the, <laughs> I I was honestly like really hoping that I was gonna get counter swept by a uh, nasty plot grim snarl. Just cause you know when somebody clicks something and you're like, and it takes you out of your out of your game plan like this is not what i expected and then you kind of have to reconsider like is this dangerous to me <clears throat> nasty plot Grimmsnarl could could put offensive pressure on uh mel metal it probably three hit chaos honestly though uh even with because i was like such a spadef uh mel metal it just so silly uh very cool though. I, I I'm a real sucker for heat, and I I played kind of a, a boring match just because when I play some more, so it's it's a more gimmicky team, like 
some kind of HO gimmicky team. So my strategy for beating uh, these kind of more gimmicky looking teams is just bring something very standard and safe. And to me, like Toxic Spikes uh, own this kind of thing, you know, Toxic Spikes, toxic spikes and, and Protect and he's, he's hail chipping his own mods as well. If you can just rack up that chip then you are you're in the clear for these kinds of matchups. So I brought Wish Protect and, and Protect on Metal Metal. Obviously, I didn't get to put the uh, Toxic Spikes until later in the game. Uh, I could have tried to make an aggressive play and put him up on Slowbro, but he probably was just going to be Psychic Slowbro and would have put me on the back foot. So uh, I think he played with what he brought decently well. I don't think I, I I don't think Starmie killed Slowbro without a crit, honestly, because Slowbro is uh so bulky. But uh, I don't know, it, it's a it's a possibility. I don't feel like Calcumin. So anyway, remember guys, while you are young, if you're in America, take advantage of opening up an IRA so that you can have uh, a safe haven of from from taxes to invest and uh, prepare for your future. If you're in another country, I don't know what your tax vehicles are like or your investing vehicles, but please, you know, just put your money. You don't even have to be, you don't have to know much about finance or anything. Just find a, a safe mutual fund or or a safe, even, even if you're just gonna throw an S&P 500 ETF, that's fine. Just do something. Put your money in something so that you can take advantage of exponential growth in the future and that you have a, a safer future where you have uh, set yourself up for a decent retirement and you're not worried about money uh, later in life. And uh, you'll thank me for that if you follow that advice. And if you don't follow that advice when you're 60, you're gonna be like, well, shoot, I remember watching this one old Pokemon video uh, where this guy told me to invest my money early. So this is your warning listen to me or you'll be sorry kid <laughs>